Hey, good morning. Question for you. Do you pray boldly? Do you pray confidently? Do you ask God for big things? Do you pray specifically? Those are all things that I'm talking about in my morning devotional. My name is Royal. I'm here in my backyard in Hearst, Texas. If you don't have your cup of coffee, go get it. I'll wait on you. Uh, actually, hit pause. <laughs> Uh, today's devotional is for Tuesday, November the 14th, and uh, I think a lot of us p don't pray very specifically. We don't pray very boldly. We don't pray very uh, faithfully. We pray nervously because we don't really expect God to answer. And, uh, and this week, the next few days, I'm talking about how to pray boldly. If you look back over the last four or five videos, you'll see why we can pray boldly. Today, it's how we pray boldly. So uh, let me just start us off with the Lord's Prayer. Heavenly Father, today, may we keep your name holy above every other name. Um, would you give us what we need to be who you want us to be? May we forgive those who um, hurt us so that we're better and not bitter. And Father, will you forgive us for the things we do wrong? and point out things in our life that we need to change. And um, Lord, protect us from the negative influences in our life. And today, Lord, we'll give you glory for everything that happens, good or bad, because we know it's your desire to use it to make us better. We pray this in Jesus' name, amen. So, how do we pray boldly? I think, first of all, we have to stop and realize that we're praying to God. And remember that God is the one that's in charge. Well, and then if you think about the attributes of God, God's a supreme being. He's the creator. He's the ruler of everything. He, he is uh, self-existent. He has perfect power, perfect goodness, perfect wisdom. He's everything. He's everywhere. He knows everything, and he has the power to do anything. That's who we're praying to, right? That's who we're praying to, if you really believe that. If you really believe that God is God, He's God if you trust Him. He's not God if you don't trust Him. He is God, but He's not your God. You know what I'm saying? When we trust that God is God, and He is who we believe, as we read in Scripture, He is, and we live out our lives according to that, with Him being large and in charge, then we pray boldly. We pray specifically. We pray uh, knowing that we trust God for whatever the outcome, even if it's not exactly what we thought it would be the outcome because we are not God and we don't think like God. We, I think the hardest adjustment that we have to make is we have to realize that God doesn't think like we do, right? He doesn't think like we do. We talked yesterday or, uh, about praying uh, to God, knowing that he can do things better than we could ever possibly imagine and different than we could ever possibly imagine. But you have to adjust to realizing, hey, when you're praying, especially when you're, you haven't been praying to God very long and you don't really know who God is because you're, you don't know the word and you, and you haven't matured very much in your faith, you just have to trust that God knows way more than you do and that he has a purpose that you may not even know about. And, uh, and that's, that's the hardest adjustment I think that we have to make. We've got to remind ourselves that God is God and he is our God and we trust him as God and, and we live our lives and we pray knowing that that's who he is. I'm just telling you, the, the, the better we do that, the easier it is to relax in God, to relax in God. Not be lazy in God, but to relax and, and go with the flow with who God is. Uh, today, the, the two verses that I'm using today, are one is from the Lord's Prayer. It starts off with, in Matthew 6, 9, pray like this, our Father in heaven. So, first of all, not only is God God, but he's also our Father in heaven, and may we keep your name holy. May we keep your name above everything else. That's a great way to start every prayer. Jesus said, hey, when you pray like this, pray, pray to your Father in heaven, and pray knowing that he's large and in charge. And then in Psalm 63, 1, the psalmist writes, Oh God, you are my God. I earnestly search you. 
Do you do that? When you're praying, are you thinking about God and honestly searching for Him, or are you mostly thinking about yourself? I don't know about you. I tend to go to myself first, and I think we all do that as uh, faulty human beings. Oh God, you are my God. I earnestly search for you. My soul thirsts for you. My whole body longs for you in this parched and weary land where there is no water. There's nothing else that can fill that void, that can quench that thirst like God. We have God-sized voids in our life that can only be filled by God Himself. Hey, here's, here's the prayer that I wrote for today. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your unfailing love. Thank you that I can trust you. May I keep you in the God seat of my life at all times. Forgive me when I act without acknowledging you or against your will. You are my mighty God and I am thankful to know you. I'm thankful to know you're my Father in heaven and I will keep you above all things. I will seek you and your will at all times. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Hey, I hope that encourages you today. Uh, I will be back tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, if the good Lord will and the creek don't rise. But until then, love God and love people, and he'll use you to change the world. Hey, share this with somebody, subscribe, comment, and I'll reply. Thanks. God bless.